concrete compression testing machine. Uh, let me get a little closer. Tinius Olson concrete compression testing machine. It looks like it was last calibrated in 1999. And this bowl doesn't belong up here. Okay, so uh, how do I work this thing? So let's see it in context. So over here is where I'll load the specimen. So these concentric circles are called the bullseye. I'm going to put the specimen in the bullseye. I'm going to turn this wheel to bring the upper part of this down onto the top of the specimen. Hang on, I'm getting my papers here. So this right here, this is the sample height adjustment wheel. I turn this to bring the uh, movable upper head down. Uh, as I told you a moment ago, this is a bullseye, so the specimen will go in here. Now if I work my way over here, I'm moving my papers out of the way. Okay, so we've got a low range gauge. This goes from 60, pardon me, zero to 60,000 pounds. This is the low range gauge. This right here is the high range gauge. So this goes all the way from zero pounds to 300,000 pounds, 300 kips. Uh, this is the pacer, we don't use that. Uh, these are the valves that control which gauge I'm reading. So if the left valve is open, which it is now, if the left valve is open, uh, then I will be seeing this gauge register the amount of load. Uh, if I turn this valve, I'd have to close this valve, and if I open this one, then I'd be using the high range gauge. So let me step back so you can see this. What do these buttons do? Start and stop. When I'm ready to start the hydraulic pump, I press this. When I, st when I want to stop the hydraulic pump, I press this. The on off lever is over here on the right side. Right now it's off. I've got a loading wheel and an unloading wheel. So if I want to add load to the specimen, I turn this wheel. If I want to take load off the specimen, I turn this wheel. So those are the basic parts to this. Can you see the whole thing? So there you have it. I'm going to use this machine to break the concrete cylinder. Uh, this is the morning of Tuesday, October 20th. Uh, the year 2020. It's about 7.15 in the morning. I'm going to test the first concrete cylinder that I made last week, so here it is. When I load it into our Tinius Olson concrete compression testing machine, I'm going to put these loading caps on it. One loading cap for the bottom and one loading cap for the top. Uh, this is some kind of plastic, some kind of plastic pad that goes inside the loading cap. Uh, the plastic pad will help to distribute the load. It'll help to distribute the load over the top and the bottom of this specimen as it's being loaded. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to load this specimen into the machine. Sorry, my head's in the way.
Chicago. slowly starting to load here. Okay, so here's another picture. touching the load wheel. You see how it's barely open? Barely open. With this machine you have to be careful not to just uh, turn that load wheel all the way. So let's see if I can get back up to that 39,500. I'm going to turn the load wheel just a little bit. Add some more load. 
by turning the loading wheel. I don't think it's going to make it though. Oh, uh, look, it's dropping. Can't do it. How much did it go up to? See that? Let's look at the specimen. See all those cracks? So what is that? 41,000... About 41,500 it made it up to. About 41,500, I'd say. Is that a little bit more than 41,500? The dummy needle flipped a little bit. I'll look at the footage and check it out to make sure. Okay, look what's happening to my specimen here. And on the main camera, you're not even catching this as much. You're not seeing as much failure. Look at that. There it is, disintegrating. This machine only has about a two inch stroke, so I can't just keep doing it until it's almost flattened. Okay, I'm gonna stop loading it. Now I'm gonna open the unload wheel. Let me stop this one. 